This video is going to be about collagen, what it is, the importance of it in our bodies, where we get it from, how do we know if we have enough. These are all important questions to ask. Collagen is a protein in the body. It makes up 30% of the body's total proteins. Protein is the building block of our body's systems and functions to work. Collagen protein contains strong elastic fibers that work like glue in the body. So these proteins hold things together. They serve as connective tissues between our joints and our bones. Collagen protein is essential for our health. Collagen helps alleviate joint pain, build bone, build muscle. These connective tissues are found all over the body. You probably heard of collagen and the anti-aging effects it has on the skin. Collagen makes up 80% of the proteins in our skin. Collagen is the protein that holds things together. So collagen is responsible for holding all of our layers of skin together firmly, tightly intact. So when we don't have enough collagen or our collagen is breaking down, we see wrinkles in the skin or fine lines or even circles under the eyes. Our skin starts to say. Collagen is responsible for keeping the skin taut and elastic and supple and plump and youthful looking. So when we have enough collagen, our skin looks a lot more healthy and vital. Along with the skin, collagen serves as connective tissues in so many areas of our body. First of all, it is important in heart health. Collagen helps build the muscle and serve as connective tissues in the walls of our heart. It creates a stronger heart, helping the body get the blood and oxygen it needs in a more efficient way. When we are more oxygenated, we feel like we have more energy. Along with the heart, collagen is also an important part of building the arterial walls. It helps thicken the walls and they can do their job more efficiently by circulating blood and oxygen through the body so we feel better and healthier with more energy. Collagen also helps in our digestive tract. It thickens the lining of our digestive tract. Our intestines is the place where we absorb the essential nutrients and vitamins that our body needs in order to function properly and stay healthy and have more energy. When we strengthen the intestinal wall, we can better absorb these essential nutrients, helping our bodies get the energy that it needs more efficiently. The intestines produce hormones, specifically the happy hormones, dopamine and serotonin. This is where the hormones are produced, our intestines. Then they are carried to the brain to be used. If we have a healthier digestive tract with a thicker lining, then we can produce more happy hormones. Also, it plays an essential role in immune function, in our gut health. This is where good bacteria are created, and this is where they live. So if we have a healthier digestive tract with a thicker lining created by collagen, these thick connective tissues that hold things together and create strength within our intestinal tract, we can create a stronger immune system, fighting off sicknesses and illnesses. Collagen also helps in the bone creating process. So it slows osteoporosis. It creates the lubrication between bones as well. It alleviates pain from osteoarthritis. It slows the onset of osteoarthritis. Collagen serves as the connective tissues between joints and ligaments and muscles to create better joint health. So to alleviate joint pain, it serves as lubrication and connective tissues 
between those joints to create more flexibility in the body, more mobility, and total range of motion, creating a healthier feeling body with less pain. Collagen is also important in muscle building and strengthening muscles. So if we want stronger muscles in our legs, in our arms, collagen helps repair, replenish, and rejuvenate muscles, creating more flexibility in the muscles, creating a stronger muscle, and creating more muscle mass. When we think of athletes or we think of the aging process, our muscles deplete and we need to create more muscle mass and strength. Collagen plays a big role in creating more muscle strength and more muscle mass. There are 20 types of collagen found in the body. However, our body primarily uses three types, type one, type two, and type three. Type one collagen is the most prevalent in the body. It serves as the connective tissues between our bones and joints and ligaments and also serves as the predominant type that is found in the dermis that holds the skin taut and holds the skin together. We find type one also in our hair and our nails and it creates that youthful look and helps us have a healthy, youthful complexion. We find collagen in type 1 collagen are cow and turkey and fish. Fresh cold water fish provides the most bioavailable source of collagen for our bodies, meaning our body can digest and absorb collagen from cold water fresh fish most efficiently and fastest so that our body can use this collagen to replenish its own sources of collagen. Type 2 collagen is less prevalent in the body and it is used in cartilage building and it also helps in building bones. We have cartilage in places like our nose, ears, the spaces between our ribs, even in our larynx and throat area. Type 2 is also responsible for lubricating joints and for joint health and alleviating joint pain. When we think of osteoarthritis or pain in the joints, type 2 helps to create more elasticity between the joints and alleviate joint pain. As well, it also serves as lubrication between bones, so we don't have bones rubbing on bones. So we have a body with more mobility and range of motion. Type 2 collagen is found mainly in chicken and in rabbit meat. Type 3 collagen degrades the fastest, but is also a precursor to building type 1 collagen. Type 3 collagen builds type 1 collagen, which is the most prevalent collagen found in the skin and our connective tissues, our organs. Type 3 collagen is known for the muscle building effects. It helps strengthen the muscle and create a stronger muscle with more muscle mass. and also serves as connective tissues between muscles to rejuvenate and replenish muscles as they break down and build more. Type 3 collagen is richest in beef and in turkey. We know that marine sources of collagen found in seaweeds are very high sources of collagen, however they're less bioavailable to our body. There are no plants with collagen proteins in them, so therefore it is important to find these sources of collagen through animal products and a variety of animal products so we can have the benefits of all these types of collagen. Our body synthesizes its own collagen. However, due to the aging process, this process of creating collagen slows in our body. Our body needs five things in order to synthesize collagen. Collagen is a protein made up of 
three amino acids, which are glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. We find glycine and proline in all animal meat sources. Hydroxyproline is an oxidized version of proline. So in order to get hydroxyproline, we need three key nutrients, which are vitamin C, copper, and magnesium. We need 75 milligrams of vitamin C a day. This can be found in a medium to large orange. Strawberries and kiwis have even more vitamin C than oranges. We need only a half cup of strawberries or one kiwi to meet our daily needs of vitamin C in order to synthesize collagen in our body. Copper and magnesium are found in nuts and seeds and tofu. Other good sources of proline are egg whites, the egg germ, the little white part on the yolk of the egg, and mushrooms and asparagus. Rich sources of glycine include animal meats, nuts, fish, seeds, and tofu. As long as we get enough of those nutrients in our diet, then our body is able to create and synthesize collagen. Women need five to seven grams of collagen a day. Men need 10 to 20 grams of collagen a day. The process of synthesizing collagen in our body slows as it breaks down faster with age. And we might want to find additional sources of collagen to meet our needs. There are things that also break down collagen in our body, which are UV light from the sun. When we don't wear sunscreen or we have too much sun exposure on our skin, that denatures collagen and causes the tight fibers to break apart. That is why when we don't protect our skin from the sun, we see more wrinkles in the skin. Smoking causes collagen damage. The chemicals in smoke cause the strong collagen fibers to break apart. Sugar consumption causes collagen to break apart. That's why we see blemishes and breakouts in the skin. When we have a high consumption of sugar in the diet, we tend to break out in the cheek area, which is directly linked to our intestine, which is where food is absorbed. We see blemishes or breakouts right here in the cheek area. We have some sort of issues in the digestive tract where our body doesn't like what it is having to digest. Now, other parts of the face are associated and linked with other organs in our bodies. Our skin is a mirror of what is going on inside of our body. It shows us how our organs are running, if they're running efficiently and properly, and if we're getting the right source of nutrients, or if we are not. The chin area is where we see effects from the large intestine and the colon. If we have trouble absorbing nutrients, namely gluten, we tend to break out in the jawline and in the chin. That is also where hormonal imbalances show. Those hormones, such as dopamine and serotonin, are created in the gut. This is known as face mapping. Under the eyes are linked to the kidneys and our hydration. If we have circles or wrinkles under the eyes, it is associated with our kidney health. If we are being hydrated properly, if we have enough electrolytes. I will talk more about this in another video called Face Mapping, Alcohol, and Caffeine. We naturally rid our body of hydration, which hydration is an important part of collagen synthesis in our body. How can we replenish our collagen sources and how can we synthesize more collagen? We can have a variety of meat sources in the diet. We can have sources of foods rich in proline and glycine, get enough vitamin C and copper and zinc. A great food source that provides 10 grams of collagen a day, which meets both the needs of women and men is one cup of bone broth. 
Now you can either make your own bone broth or buy it at the store. It is animal bones and cartilage stewed in water. You stew them all together and it creates a broth. When we stew them for longer, it actually creates a jelly, which is very rich in collagen. In one cup, 10 grams of collagen, 20 grams of protein. It is low in calories. Also, is a great way to stay hydrated. It is a great source of electrolytes. Electrolytes help our muscles function and give us energy throughout the day. Bone broth is a great source of collagen, protein, electrolytes, and helps us stay hydrated. You can use bone broth in soups or stews, making rice, fried rice, stir fries, gravies. I like to even drink a cup or maybe in the morning instead of having coffee or tea to replenish the cells of collagen, electrolytes, hydration, and protein. We can opt to take collagen supplements, but research shows that collagen from natural sources is more bioavailable to the body, meaning we absorb more and digest more and are able to synthesize more from natural sources such as animal meats and bone broth. Bone broth became a lot easier to make with the Instant Pot. All these benefits you can get from bone broth. I hope you have learned a thing or two about the importance of collagen in your body, why we need it, benefits of it, where you can get more of it, how our body produces it. If you do want to try the bone broth recipe, I will leave it below. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.